Hi, this is Michelle with um, my Encounters All of Praying project. And I'm here today with Hal Gardner, owner of Rusty Haggle. Co-owner. Co-owner. Because his wife is also um, part of Rusty Haggle. And I'm going to paint his portrait today while he tells me his story. One of the first things I would say is this is really having the shop is Jean's idea. Mm -hmm. Uh, which I happily went along with, but she was the one that was really thinking about the store and taking our hobby of antiques and collectibles and all of that into a realm that we hadn't explored before. So that's why we're here. North Topeka, Noto has been perfect for us to kind of shove things beyond that hobby level and move into the retail sales, which means, of course, we have to go out and buy stuff, which is really fun. That's really why you do this. You know, the sales just kind of incidental. Uh -huh. You have to do it to support your habit. Right. And uh, I think that's true with all the antique dealers, at least down here or anywhere I've been, actually. We've been doing this for years. We were married uh, in 93, January of 93, and we were in Charlotte, North Carolina at that time. I was an associate superintendent of schools there and uh, been in education all my life, my real job. But along the way, this, there was radio and television broadcasting, and, and it served us kind of in two worlds. In 96, 1996, when we were in Charlotte, I was on the board of WTVI, the public broadcast station there, and I stopped, talked to Hal Bowden, who was the manager, and he said, you know, with your interest, we ought to produce an antique show. And we did that with having it on PBS as our goal, as a regular series. Mm -hmm. This is Remember, this is 1996, early 1996. Pre-antique roadshow. Just months. So we finished production of our, of our show, which took a long time, three or four months, to get the pilot shot in North Carolina. And we had all kinds of appraisers in. We had Harry Rinker in as our primary appraiser. He made the show work in a lot of respects for us. We got that going, got it all ready to produce, and you always take your, when you're new to this thing, you go to the, the executive producers association meeting in New Orleans. They do this every year. It's where the world comes to buy television programming. Little guys, big guys, everybody. So there we are with our little table set up in the big conference room. And on the other side of us, down the hall a little ways was this new program called Antiques Roadshow, sponsored by WGBH and BBC with their millions of dollars behind them. We had $37,000 behind us. Guess who won? <laughs> it wasn't us. Came back to Kansas City and I, I worked as an associate superintendent there in the Kansas City, Missouri School District. All the while, antiquing and going around the shops and continuing our collecting for our things at home. So we headed to Topeka found our house in the Potwin area and been here ever since. And along the way, we were still antiquing. We uh, put a shop together down in the West Bottoms in Kansas City. Had a lot of fun with that, but it was also a hassle driving down there and taking care of things and having to make the 140 mile trip several times. Right. I went on the board of the edu education here for Topeka 501. So that kind of was keeping me busy at the same time. A little too busy in some respects. As of the end of June this year, 2013, I uh, resigned from the board so that I could spend more time down here with Noto. Mm -hmm. uh, we're getting ready to launch an online store. So it's it's a new venture in a way, but it's part of the same one that we're doing here. It'll be, you know, be the Rusty Hackles online, basically. Right. And we're participating with all of the rest of this community. Uh, Ruby and Chuck here at uh, Yeldarb and uh, the girls, uh, Lisa and Cora Lee, down at Two Days. Uh, Jenny down there at Serendipity. Mm -hmm. So many people. I'm not going to name them all because I'll miss somebody. But it's just been a phenomenal kind of a extended family relationship. And I think we all, all benefit. Well, I know we all benefit. And as the community gets hold of the idea, and they're still doing that, we get remarkable numbers of people that don't know the place exists. Right or were here 20 years ago and don't know about what's happened. And a lot has happened. Right. And uh, we're extremely happy to be part of that.